Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior Microsoft architect. In this video, we are going to see what is map and the map object in Microsoft data wave transformation. We will also going to learn what is the difference between map and the map object through this video. And like as you aware, like map and the map object is the one of the widely used operator in the data wave transformation, right? So let's start with map. So what is a map? Map basically operator provided in the data wave to iterate over the object in the array, okay? And result into new array. So basically, it's nothing like the map operator iterate over the element or iterate over the object or iterate over the payload you know, uh, in an array which result into new array. So basically output of the map operator will be always an array. Right? So basically using map operator you can access a index and the value. Right? So in map operator it uh, yeah, it take item item is nothing it's a value index is nothing the you know uh, it's a index is nothing it's a like index of that particular value and the result output is always array so let me move to the data we playground in data we playground we will see like how we can make use of map operator in your data wave transformation what are the different ways you can use your map operator with a data wave transformation so simply i will define one array which contain three element a comma b comma c and now i want to access this uh, abc okay uh, i want to access a value and the index of this particular of the elements in the array so what you can do you can use the map operator and simply say curly bracket and how you can access the value you can always access the value using dollar sign and in corresponding index can be accessed using dollar dollar so basically i will say dollar dollar okay and i will say dollar you can see there is an error you have to put a circle bracket and now you can see you can access the index as well as the value so basically you know so you can see it here basically this is my index so a is the element at the zeroth index b is the element at the first index c is the element at the second index there's a one more way you can access the same thing okay so what i can do in map operator you can pass a parameters something like items item is nothing it's a value and index and you can use this expression it's nothing it's a lambda expression and you can say like this now you want to access index and then items right but you see you are not accessing the index instead of like you know if, if you want to access exact index so you have to put again this into the circle bracket so now you can see again the same output right now let's move to the other operator which is a map object so basically let consider if you want to access a key also like if you want to modify a key in your data wave transformation how you can do that that you can do achieve using the map object. So map object is basically operator providing data wave to iterate over the object using a mapper that act on the key value and the indices of that object. So map operator take you know uh, two field items uh, and the uh, index. In this case, uh, like a map object uh, take three fields value, key, and the index. So it also return the key. Okay. And the output of the map object will be always an object. Okay. So basically what does this mean? Let's move to the playground. And instead of I can say no, A1. Two. And. Three. So I can instead of this, I can make this as a curly bracket. This is my, okay. I can remove all this thing. I can say map 
so now i want to access key index and the value everything right so i can use map object either you can use this particular syntax or simply what you can do you can use the curly bracket okay so in this case how we can access the value using single dollar how you can access the key using double dollar how you can access the index using triple dollar in case of map operator we can access the value using single dollar whereas the index using double dollar in this case the index is always access using triple dollar so let me think so now i want to access the index first so i will use triple dollar hyphen then i will put the curly bracket under curly bracket i want to access the key and the value both so i can say dollar 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 so instead of that i first i will say key and then value okay but you as mentioned you have to put this always in the circle bracket okay the same thing goes here so you can see at zeroth position you have a1 this one at first position you have b2 at second position you have a c3 right so this is how you can access the you can access the key value and the index using map object okay so there is a few difference between map and map object in map you cannot access the key in map object you can access the key map can work with the array of object whereas map object work you no know, work with a single object or like single object in the array basically okay so we will go with some complex thing so first i will copy this uh, example so i have like some employees detail there are three employees detail so you no know, so let me do one thing so basically i i want all these keys as a capital letter okay so what i can do so i have to iterate through each and every, like there are multiple uh, uh, object in that particular array i want to iterate through that so what we will do we will going to use a map operator so i can say payload dot employees then i can say map okay so okay so you can use payload dot employees a map under map either you uh, there is a two way uh, to use the map and the map object but here we will simply uh, what i can do i can pass two parameters or like uh, items comma items or i will simply say index this is item index only then i can use this lambda expression and then i can use the curly bracket so now i want to access i want this user id as a capital letter i can say user id and to access the value i can say dollar dot just a minute so here i cannot use dollar instead of that i will use items dot user id comma you can see my key is converted into capital letter same thing like you know job title name then i can say items dot job title name comma like first name items dot first name but if you see this is bit complex we like if you have a hundred of fields right just converting this key into capital letter you just keep on writing you know all the keys and value here right right so to avoid that what we can do so i will show you instead of that you can use the map object as i mentioned like map works on the single object at a time right so what we can do so instead of like i can say map i can say map object yeah, this is the array right i it, whereas map object work you know map work on the map object work on a single object so i will pick the single object okay and map can take the map object can take three parameters this is the value the items value whatever then keys then index okay so what i can do i can remove all those thing from here 
then what I can do simple so for accessing the key what we use double dollar double dollar so what I can say this double dollar double dollar and for accessing the value so here we don't have to use the double dollar also we can simply use the key and we can say value okay so it's not its value so you can see everything is there now I want to convert all the keys into the capital letter so simply I can use upper okay so see everything is been converted into upper letter right simple but the my problem is that like I am able to convert only one object that I have to convert like you know every each and every fields in each object to the capital letter and I have to add like plus one in the front of the phone number so for adding plus one in the front of phone number what I can do so I can use something like you know you need to change this to the this particular break circle bracket if you are using if and else okay so here I will say tab enter if so what I will say key as I want to show you one more thing before I move to key if and else just so instead of you know uh, value I can say index what happens see so you see like you know map object iterate over the fields in that particular object see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it like that okay so right now let I will change this again to value now I will use again this as a you know circle. now I can use if what I can say if how we can read the key and the circle bracket you can pass the key as a string is equal to equal to if my key is equal to equal to phone number right what I have to do I have to add plus one so just simply copy this particular thing okay and I want to add plus one so simply plus one okay that is fine then I can say else so you can see the plus one has been added to your phone number so this is how you can modify the data using map object okay now next thing we have to modify each and you know we have each and every uh, item uh, in the into or each and every object into your array okay simply what we can do again I will remove everything I will keep it simple I will say payload now we will use the map for the map we will use the map to iterate over each and every object in your payload and like we will use the map object to iterate over your fields you know so basically I can say payload dot employees then I can say map map always take two parameters one is items which is only value and index okay then you can see like this then I can say payload map object okay no not payload map object it will be the item so basically item inside your object map object okay and in this case you can just say curly bracket curly bracket and here you can access like dollar dollar so basically key can be accessed using dollar and dollar you can see now you want to convert each and everything into upper so you use upper okay at the end like this so you can see that everything has been converted into the upper okay next thing so next thing like I want to make this a uh, you know, plus one in the front of your phone number so what I can do same thing I will remove let keep as it is again I will change this you know, uh, into this that is fine even you write this also so if I can say dollar dollar as string is equal to equal to 
फोन नंबर राइट देन कर ली ब्रेकेट देन एल्स copy this so basically whenever like so i want to add plus 1 so you can see the plus 1 is added okay in the front of your field phone number right so here like we have done this operation now the one more thing we can do so basically i want to add like one field called active equals to status after your user id only after the user id it must be between your user id and the job title what you can do so i can write one more if or what you can do let's like this is for phone number now what i can do so basically i want to add after this particular user id or before job title name right so what you can do so either you can say user id you can say like user if uh, use this user id if dollar dollar string as a user id right so in that case what i can do i want this field comma i want active so you can see the active okay field has been added after user id okay okay so this is how you can make use of your map and the map object in your data view transformation right so as i mentioned like you know uh, they can be used together okay in next video we will going to see like something called filter and the filter object so when you want to filter out uh, when you want to use the filter with map operator you use the filter whereas when you want to use like filter with a map object you use the filter object so these are two operator provided by mulesoft one is filter and the one is filter object filter is always used with map operator and filter object is always used with map object okay so i hope it clear lot of thing you know so how you can make use of map and the map object if i hope you like this video if you like the video please click on like and the subscribe button thanks for watching